Yo, it's your boy Zashi back again with another video. And today, talk about the Migos and Culture 3. Now, we've been waiting for Culture 3 for about, I want to say, two or three years now. Migos uh, delivered three separate solo projects after Culture 2. And the Grab Group uh, seems to be like they're trying to find some way to get a hit song so they can push Culture 3. But it doesn't seem like it's going through. Like, they had features with Travis Scott, Young Thug. They even had a feature with Young Boy. Like, it's Young Boy, one of the hottest new street rappers out here. Like, we all know the three goons from Gwinnett County, right? Like, they're the rap group that had the culture in their hands with hit songs like Fight Night, Wishy Washy, and many, many more. Like, they were really the dudes who didn't give a fuck about what was going on. They was repping they set. And after their years, man, it feels like they've just drifted apart, I feel like. It feels like it hasn't been the same. Because I've been a Migos fan since 2014. And what I'm seeing now is completely different from what I saw back then. And I'm going to explain all of that in this vid. I'm not talking about drifting apart like they're not fucking with each other anymore. I'm just talking about how the ener the synergy between them feels different. They basically, they're all doing their own stuff. Offset's out here with Cardi B doing IG lives with her, trying to get her back and shit, buying her Rolls Royces, being a simp to her. Then we got Quavo's out here in love with Salty, buying her Birkins and shit. That's all he's really doing. <laughs> just with Salty the whole time. And take off, take off. I, I I don't know what take off is doing. I, I think he's doing well. The last thing I saw about take off was apparently there's a lawsuit against them, a rape allegation which I think was false, confirmed to be false. But this is what I want the Migos to do to make Culture Three better and make it feel like how the original culture was, how culture one was. All right, let's get started. And also in light of what happened with the Migos and their label issues with QC who they've been with since the very beginning of QC. Something about some shady money dealings with QC and their lawyers, basically finessing them, getting all their money. But it's but it all seems that it's all good and well because Quavo posted something with QC, so it seems like all those issues are fixed now. So let's hope Culture 3 will be something amazing and something great. Now, let's get into the video and see... I'm going to propose what uh, Migos can do to make Culture 3 even better. Now, as I said before, I've been a Migos, and Migos fan since 2014. I actually remember the first time I even heard of the Migos and saw Migos' music video. I was in school in history class. And we were all just chilling in uh, in class, and one of the uh, one of the students in the in the class was talking to the teacher, and he was like, uh, he was talking about, hey, let's uh, play some Migos. I'm like, what the hell is Amigos? We didn't know who Migos was back then, cause they were just getting started. So <laughs> the dude goes to the teacher's computer and uh, puts it on the board and plays Migos one time. I think that was, I think that's the song one time, and that song was just blasting in the room and that song was good and that that got me hooked into the migos i've never seen a rap group like that uh with such good flow and rhythm and swag into their uh, rap that i was just hooked first time i heard so yeah and then they dropped culture one which was an instant classic of course and yeah that's how they blew up basically well they had they had other hit songs as well, but when Culture One came out, that's when they really took off. That's when they went mainstream, basically. So yeah, um, for Culture Three, I want them to be first uh, light on the features, man. Culture Two had way too many damn features, bro. Like it was like it was good feet. Some some of the features were good, but like it wasn't like Culture One. Culture One, those features were nice separated and concise and i feel like the features complemented the migos that's what i want culture three to have have the features complement the migos and their flow together because the chemistry within the migos themselves is great for example they had a they had a new song this year with a uh, young boy right it feels like they had a feature with young boy called needed the flow was good enough but it didn't feel natural it didn't feel it felt to me it felt forced the song is good, don't get me wrong, the song is really good, but it felt forced, because Youngboy is like one of the hottest new rappers out here, and I feel like they just grabbed one of the hot niggas, and like, yo, hop on this feature so we can get uh some uh, some Billboard charts or something. But like, that song is nowhere to be found now. Like, the song is still good, but I don't know if it should be on the album. Maybe as a bonus? But yeah, like... 
Like, take Bad and Bougie, for example. That song had a feature with Lil Uzi Vert. And Lil Uzi Vert was popping back then, too. But they, they were both popping around the same time. So it felt like when that song came out, it just flowed well. Lil Uzi Vert just hopped in and just complimented the song even more and brought it to a bigger perspective. And Migos definitely carried their own on this Bad and Bougie song, which was it's probably still one of their biggest songs out. And almost everyone knows about it. The flow was amazing. Offset just went in on it. Quavo went in. Uzi went in. Uh, apparently Takeoff wrote something in it, but we don't know. Maybe there's a verse with Takeoff that we never heard of. But yeah, like, if that song felt natural, felt unique, if, and if it just complemented what their style was already at that time, and it complemented what the Migos were, uh, it complemented Migos' flow. And that was probably one of their only features with Uzi, to be honest. Uh, Culture One also, like, 2 Chains, the 2 Chains feature was great, and the Gucci Main feature was also fantastic in this, and, and Culture One. Also, the Travis song too, which was, which was a sleeper in my opinion. That's one of my favorite songs, uh, Kelly Price. If you ever heard that, Kelly Price, Migos, featuring, uh, Travis Scott. That song's one of my favorites off that album. But yeah, though the features on that album were were fantastic, nice, light, and it just felt nice and condensed and like a nice little pack of music that that they just gave out, you know. Now another point I want either show growth or keep trying to gain the young audience. Now I said I was a Migos fan since 2014. I was about, I think I was a, either a freshman or sophomore, so I was like 15, 16 around the time, and now I'm 21 years old and I still love the Migos, but. I feel like they need to show growth. For example, Offset in that solo album, he definitely showed lots of growth. Talking about uh, his past experiences and pain, talking about his kids, how he wants to be a better father for his kids, and all that. He still has some like street stuff uh, in the music, but he still showed growth. But for Migos and Culture 3, they, I feel like they need to show growth. Stop trying to pander to the young audience. Stop trying to chase after the younger audience try to grow with you have to grow with your audience or try to appeal to the younger crowd and try to and maybe you can succeed in that but some most of the time you can't so but like yeah like some of the young crowd like the young crowd right now they're they're all looking for a little baby and nba young boy those are the two hottest rappers out right now Lil Baby's definitely because he's mainstream, but Young Boy as well. His audience is so organic, and I feel like Migos has an organic audience too. But like, I feel like they haven't they haven't just hit it. They haven't hit it right. Cause Culture Two was, in my opinion, Culture Two wasn't that good when I first listened to it. I waited like six, seven months after it first uh, came out. Then I re-listened to it, and then I started to like it a little bit more. Like Culture Two had way too many. Uh, it was too many songs, 24 songs is a lot, and I f Culture One had 13. That was nice, condensed, and felt uh, like a good album to listen to all the way through and still be fully aware of the, of the album. In Culture Two, I, it felt like you drifted apart in between some songs. Some of the songs were all right. Some of them was just, I felt like they just put it on there just because for like streaming and all that. But the Migos, they need to show growth in, in Culture 3 or show somewhat of a growth. So give us more bars about what you're going through, about life and all that. We don't, like, you're not doing no street shit no more, man. You guys are not in the hood no more. You, you guys are living in mansions now. You got to be talking about something else. You got to be growing with the audience because I'm 21 years old. I can't be, I still can't be listening to the same hood shit, you know? I still like some of it, but I need, I need some growth in the Migos, man. Migos, you gotta grow a little bit more. I'm still, still fully support y'all, but you're, you're either going to have to show growth or try to pander to the younger audience and trying to get their attention. And my other point, which I already talked about before was keep the album at a nice, uh, good, good amount of music. Keep it around maybe 13 songs like Culture One, maybe, 16 16 maybe for this one for culture three because culture one had 13 songs and they all slapped all great production there was no issue in any of the songs when i listened to culture and i listened to that album a lot that's one of my favorite migos albums like the the production they have good producers so i already know 
Culture 3 will be great. I hope the producers, they have even more producers, hopefully, that are new, that could maybe bring something uh, unique to the Migos' sound, maybe have a new sound or something. But there's really no issue for the production uh, value of the Migos, because they have Murda, DJ Durrell, and then other big name producers to call on, like Metro, Wheezy, all these other producers. And they're mostly based from Atlanta, so they're all pretty connected there and the features too like they're in atlanta there's so many so many talented artists that you could pull from but you got to pick them wisely like two chains for an example is a great great features that great feature that migos always have on their albums culture one great feature culture two they had a great feature with uh, two chains gucci man as well gucci man is an og for sure he deserves to be on the migos album because culture one Slippery was one of the hottest songs out there. That song was phenomenal. Um, I don't know if he was in Culture 2, but Culture 3 for sure he needs to be in. That's what I, those are the two most features I want. Maybe Drake, cause they went on tour with Drake and apparently they did 50 songs every night or something. They have, they did a song every night with Drake on tour. So they'll probably have a Drake feature. But that Drake feature better be amazing. It has to be top tier, top tier song. And also, like, maybe this is what Migos should do. They should do what Dreamville did and how, do the Dreamville apo- approach of creating an album. Get the Migos, get their producers, maybe uh, get some features, go in a secluded area and just start cooking. Start cooking music, start making as much as you can, start trying to pick out one of the, uh, the best songs you can out of that area and uh and keep your uh keep away from the distractions of the world you know be focused be all in on the culture three and try to make it a, a defining album to finish off the culture series because i saw the documentary of dreamville and that i i found that very very uh impressive about how they did that and how it felt it felt natural, like it felt good that they did that. They had rooms in every place, producers working in certain areas, artists working in other areas, doing their own songs, and then cooking up, making, doing features with each other, and then bringing it all together. I feel like the amigos slipped the culture away from their hands. You know, they need to take culture, the culture back for culture three. Take the culture back. Bring back the culture. Uh, be light on the features. Production value has to be amazing. Top tier. Um, some of the features I really want are Drake, 2 Chainz, 21. Maybe another Uzi feature because we haven't had that in a long time. I want another Gucci feature. And I'm really hoping Migos can deliver on this album. Hopefully it'll come out this year, if not next year. But I just want them to take their time, be concise. Make sure this album will have you respect the Migos. Even though they're veterans in the game, have them cement that, yeah, we are the culture. We created the culture and we're taking the culture back. I'm your boy Zashi and that's how I think Culture 3 can be successful. Peace.